welcome to Wake Up Wildcats. I'm Alexandra Delgado. And I'm Riley Price. Today is Monday, March 27th, and it is an A day. Today's weather will be cloudy with a chance of rain and a high of 63 and a low of 49. For lunch today, in honor of March Madness, you can choose from a breakfast burger or a hot honey beef nacho bowl. Tomorrow, you can choose from a pizza burger or a chip and dip cafe box. And as always, peanut butter and jelly will be served while supplies last. Life 180 will meet tomorrow, March 28th at 8.15 in room 824. Come and be encouraged and enjoy the fellowship. Chronic absenteeism has become an issue at Great Bridge. Let's go to Molly, Natalie, and Addie to learn more about the importance of our presence here at GBHS. One in five students has been labeled as chronically absent in the U.S. To be chronically absent, you must have missed 15 or more days of school. Today we're going to talk about some ways that you can avoid being absent, what to do if you come in late or leaving early. If you're going to be leaving early, make sure to bring a signed note from Karen and Mark and to Ms. Clark before the first bell rings. You will need to pick up your pass after first bell. If you're coming in late to school, you need to make sure to bring in a signed note from your parent, guardian, doctor, dentist, etc. to Ms. Clark in the attendance office to explain your absence. Always bring in a signed note. Unexcused and excused absences are both considered absences. Excused absences include illness, family death, or religious holidays. Any other reason for absences are counted unexcused, but you should still bring in a note because without it, you will be counted as unexcused no matter the reason for your absence. Absentee notes should, be, should not be brought to Ms. Clark in the attendance office. They should be given to your homeroom teacher. Having too many absences will result in truancy court or lunch detention. Also, time recovery is no longer available. If you miss more than nine days in a class, you will fail it and be required to repeat it. Do not let it get to that point. Skipping class will result in ISS. If your parent is here to pick you up, they must come to the attendance office to sign you out. You cannot leave school just because your parent texted you. That is illegal. Also, make sure to apply for extenuating circumstances when the time comes. To find out more, check out the student handbook. We're now feeling extra motivated to go to class. Remember kids, go to class and stay in school. Seniors, it's not too late to sign up for the Access College Commitment Day. If you've been accepted to any college and have completed a FAFSA form, you can attend. Come out and celebrate all your hard work with prizes, music, and fun. Permission slips are due by April 17th. Scholarship alert. If you are a black female attending a community college, have a 2.8 GPA or higher, involved in your school, community, or church, and are in financial need, you need to apply for the Josephine Felder Community College Award. If chosen, you will receive a $500 scholarship. The deadline to apply is April 21st. Information can be found in SchoolG or you can see Ms. Kennedy in the counseling office for more information. Operation Military Families is this Saturday. Families of military active duty and veterans are invited to come out and connect with other families and get information to support our military connected students. Breakfast will be provided and it's free. Visit cpschools.com for more information. Let's go to Lily for this week's upcoming sports. Wildcats, I'm Lily Hastings. Let's see who our Wildcats will be competing against this week. It's a busy day Tuesday. First we have boys varsity and JV baseball playing grass field. Varsity will be away and JV at home. Then we have girls varsity softball team also playing grass field away while JV takes the home field. Girls and boys tennis will take on Deep Creek. Boys soccer plays Pocosin High School at home, but the girls soccer team isn't out of the action as they will be playing Ocean Lakes at Great Bridge Middle. Wednesday, baseball goes head to head with Currituck County. Varsity is at home, JV away. Wrapping this week up, Thursday includes baseball and softball games against Oscar Smith. Girls varsity soccer against York and boy and girl tennis matches against Jamestown at home. And finally, Friday, varsity softball plays Kempsville. We have some great games lined up this week and some beautiful weather. Hopefully you can catch one. Good luck, Wildcats. Now back to Alex and Riley for the remainder of the morning announcements. 
Let's wrap it up with our joke of the day, which comes to us from senior Callum Gillespie. Hey Riley, where does the trampoline go to eat? Alex, I don't think trampolines can eat. Of course they can. At IHOP. Wow! That was so clever, Alex. Wildcats, make sure to keep scanning that QR code to submit your jokes. That's all for today, Wildcats. I'm Alexandra Delgado. And I'm Riley Price. Wake up, Wildcats. And make it a great day.